What is up, YouTube? We're at the Suzuki booth. Look at all these beautiful bikes. Got a Gixxer 600. A Boulevard. I didn't even know they made these. Little DR650. So what bike did I pick? Oh, of course. The Gixxer 750. This seems a lot more leaned over than the uh, the 600. Yeah, see, I don't know if I could do this as a permanent thing. Oh, that freaking engine. I like the gear indicator, though. Oh, that installed it. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting feeling. I feel like I'm way too big for this bike. Oh, but it does sound pretty. I'll give it that. No filtering and getting rear-ended this time. The seat seems comfy, but I just don't think I could do this all day. Especially not long distances. I just like the sound of that inline four. Oh my God. Oh, didn't kill it. We're making strides. <laughs> Oh, that, that shifting is really smooth. I like that. Yeah, the clutch in and out motion is really smooth. The shifting is really easy. Like, on the, on the Ninja, I have to literally kick the shift lever. But this, it's just a little tap and it goes right into gear. Oh, that's really nice. I like everything about this bike except the position in order to like stay in gear while at a stop i have to be like hunched over just to hold the clutch in it's just a habit that's just how i ride oh shit i killed it it's just a sad thing Look at, that, look at that guy in the Ultima trying to merge into the leader and then just runs through the light. <laughs> oh, I kicked it in the second. No. There we go. Fuck. <laughs> oh, God. I keep stalling it. It's so bad. <laughs> It's because I keep, like, the sound of the revs sounds so loud that I just don't rev it past, like, 4K, and then I try and take off, and the bike's like, dude, what are you doing? I just need to remind myself to rev higher. I'm just gonna go ahead and rev it to, like, 12K, dump the clutch. What could possibly go wrong? I'll be internet famous. I'm gonna have all the internet points. I got it, yay! I can feel the heat of this bike a lot more on my legs, but I guess that's just because of the positioning of the pegs and everything. Woo! <laughs> Downshifting was, uh, <laughs> I let the clutch out a little too fast. It kind of jumped on me. The pull on this thing is fucking ridiculous. I now understand how uh, Suburban Delinquent loves this bike so much though. Oh my god, and it just flicks over. This is nice, it just flicks over like nothing. And I feel like hitting a serious bump 
on this would just destroy my nuts. Look at that, no foot down and I didn't stall it. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this. And the throttle's not nearly as touchy as I had kind of always imagined it would be. Cause it's really easy to just freaking roll on it. And even if you give it a little too much, it, it doesn't try and freaking come out from under you. God, and the gear indicator. Gear indicator is the best. Just, uh, yeah. That exhaust, even stock, just sounds beautiful on the freaking inline four. Yeah, really the only thing I would change is just bringing the handlebars up a little bit. Even if, even just like three inches would be enough. That's what she said. <laughs> I guess my final synopsis of this uh, particular bike though is way too leaned over. The seat's kind of comfy. The legs aren't too cramped, but the bars are just too fucking low. It's got really good power and it shifts really easily and I mean everything else about the bike is phenomenal. Oh well that and I'm a fucking giant and I look like a giant on this thing. I can only imagine the perspective from uh, your angle. I wish we could have gone on the freeway to really open these fuckers up, but oh well. It is really easy to control the throttle on this though. All right, well, test ride number one, complete. Fuck Richard!